Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Fatin Fatia Aziz from KM Muntu C. And for this subject, I am L290. This is my industrial training presentation that I did at Perpustakaan Awam Paham. So I hope this will be beneficial to anyone who's watching. And I do hope you enjoy this presentation. Thank you. this presentation, I'll be focusing on four main topics. The first one is a brief walkthrough of Perbadana Pustaka and Awam. The second one is PPAP's organizational chart and the division and units in it. The third one is a glimpse of industrial training at Perbadana Pustaka and Awam Pang. And the last one is the conclusion of this presentation. So, let us start with the walkthrough. Perbadanan Perpustakaan Awam Paham A Brief Walkthrough So, Perbadanan Perpustakaan Awam Paham was established under the Pahang Public Library Corporation enactment 1973. And it first started its operation for the community in the old West House building in Jalan Masjid Kuantan in 1973. Uh, I'm sorry, in 1976. In 1985, it moved to the old State Legislative Assembly building in Jalan Gambut and was inaugurated on the 28th of October 1987 by the former ruler of Pahang, uh, His Majesty Sultan of Pahang, Almarhum Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah Al Musta'in Billah, Ibni Almarhum Sultan Abu Bakar Riyaduddin Al Mazam Shah. Now, uh, the library's current location, which is a 12,000 square meter building, is located at Lot 10 Jalan Kemunting, Kuantan, which has become a landmark of knowledge for the state of Pahang. We'll continue with the organizational chart. Now, this is the organizational chart that has been provided by the library's website. So, under the director Nara, of the library, we have six other divisions and unit. Now to highlight the divisions and unit. The first division is Management Services Division. The second one is Collection Management and Develop Division. Third one is Library and Literacy Services Division. The fourth one is Reference and Information Section. The fifth one is the Library Network Division. And the last one is Development and Corporate Planning Division. Now, a glimpse of industrial training at PPAP. So, in these pictures, you can see these are a few areas that are available in the library itself. So, we have Pusat Waisang Intellect Negeri, which houses the works from artists, authors, and celebrity that were born in Pahang. And we also have a children's library now that particular design of bookshelf is called the Pak Pandes bookshelf. And we also have the Bahagian Rujukan. We have a book cafe located in the cafeteria. We used to have a bilik diraja but now all the collections have been reclaimed by the royal family and the room is now being changed as an office and we also have a Billy Aspirasi Rumaja which is a studio that can be rented by the users who want to use it and we also offer sound systems, recording uh, systems and a lot of musical instruments now during my time at Perbadana Pustaka on Pahang, I did do a few responsibilities, a few activities, and I've enjoyed myself. 
So a few things that I did while doing my industrial training was that um, we had celebrated Yu Pustaka's 10th anniversary and I did a lot of stock take session and this is two of the stock take session that I did. One was in the Benjamin Fiction area and the other one was at the children's uh, library area. And also we did go to the Pangun 3D. So this is my conclusion. Now I've taken a quote from Roy T. Bennett, The Light in the Heart. So why is that? The comfort zone is a psychological state in which one feels familiar, safe, at ease and secure. If you always do what is easy and choose the path of least resisting, you never step outside your comfort zone. Great things don't come from create com from comfort zones. Now why did I choose this quote for my conclusion is that this is a fact. I intentionally chose Pabadan Pustaka Awam Pahang just to step out of my comfort zone because I never really like to be somewhere new but I thought of this subject as the opportunity of me to getting to know the real behind the scene of the library industry world. Alhamdulillah, I never regretted that decision because people, those people in the library were so nice. They treated us with such care and to be honest, they never really did treated us as students who are do, doing their internship at the library. They treated us like we were one of themselves. We are those who are working in the library. So that's all for this presentation. Thank you.